Sarah Cazell here at the Marriott Center with BYU seniors Kyle Collinsworth and Chase Fisher. And we are going to play a little game called How Well Do You Know Your Teammate? You guys ready? I'm ready. You ready? Let's do it. All right. First question, Kyle, you're going to answer this about Chase. If he could eat just one meal for the rest of his life, what do you think he would pick? We actually play this game on the airplane sometimes. If you were stuck on an island, what would you eat? I would say sweet potato, uh, salmon, and uh, spinach, some, some type of green. Very healthy selection, is he correct? Yeah, he is correct, and we, we already know this because we played this game a lot, but we're both health eaters, and I live off what's in the sea and grows out of the ground, you know what I mean? So I think he's right. All right, what do you think his answer would be if he could eat only one meal for the rest of his life? What would that be? I'm going to mix it. I think it would be very similar to what I would eat, but I'm going to mix it up. I think he could go with some grass-fed beef, uh, a sweet potato, and or you know some brown rice and quinoa, and a deep green salad with some kale and some other mixed greens. Highly detailed. Is he correct? He's spot on. I am feeling horribly unhealthy today. Okay, off the court, what do you think he would say? his non-basketball talent is, his strongest non-basketball talent? Uh, in the kitchen, being a chef, he likes to uh, meal prep, which means he makes his own meals and brings them with him. So probably cooking, anything that has to do with nutrition. And weightlifting, actually weightlifting is my guess. He likes fitness stuff. All right, weightlifting. That's correct. I love, I like fitness stuff. That's kind of what I want to do after basketball is open a gym and kind of get into that, you know, realm. So I love fitness and eating healthy and stuff like that. So I would say he's right on that. Okay, what do you think he would say his, his best non-basketball talent is? Kyle's a really good tennis player. His parents have a tennis court uh, outside their house and we played. And he's, he's good at tennis. I think he could excel at that. I could still probably beat him just because of my mental toughness and, you know, I'm a, I'm a great returner. I'm like Novak to Djokovic. I'm one of the best returners in the game, but I'd say tennis for him. Would you agree with that answer and also his assessment of his own personal tennis skills? Tennis is right, but we've actually played and it's not how he said it. I'm phenomenal. My core strength is just too much for him on, on the turns. So I'm a lot better than Chase. Chase is good though, surprisingly. What do you think is his proudest basketball moment to this point in his career? Probably his game in the tournament against Old Miss. He performed gracefully, beautifully, and we, he performed when we needed him. And his biggest game in his career and probably one of his best. Okay. Is he correct? That definitely is. Individually, it was probably my favorite performance just because it was an NCAA tournament, but we lost. And as for Kyle, what do you think his proudest basketball moment has been to this point? Breaking the triple-double record, I would say. Um, that, that, yeah, that was his proudest moment for sure, I think. And? No, I'm going to go with Gonzaga, too. So, you're wrong. <laughs> Well, that's, we're going to end it on a sad note now. You're wrong. You know nothing about him. Um, go team, I guess.